So Danbury is a very unique program. It's a large community hospital with a very strong academic. Uh, we have a lot of new innovative uh, initiatives in the program. Uh, we're also geographically very uh, advantageous. We're very close to big cities, uh, but in the suburb area, uh, you will come here and find out it's a wonderful place. The program is very, very um, family-oriented. Uh, we are very friendly to each other, and there's very excellent interactions between the attendings and the residents. When you first enroll in the program, you're actually paired up with a peer mentor. Um, you're paired up with someone more senior to you, and then you have an associate program director or a core teaching faculty who you are also paired up with in case you have bigger questions, you know, want to make decisions on career path, uh, those sorts of things. Something unique is that you don't need to have solely one mentor. You can have multiple mentors that would they, they have their strength and you can work with them and achieve your purpose. You can have an emotion mentor, you can have an academic mentor, you can have somebody in life, you know, so it's all the way around. A lot of times community programs can get a reputation of, oh, well, there's not enough academics. Here we have a very unique affiliation with Yale. So our weekly conferences are hosted in part by Yale attendings that are coming that are teaching us from an academic perspective. Um, really that connection and being able to do rotations over at Yale as well provides us this balance between a community center with the academic learning um, and that has been a, a tremendous experience to have and moving forward I think will serve very well to our residents. I was actually very surprised when I came here the amount of hands-on you get and this is something you also gain yourself. You have the people available for you. It's one-to-one -one with the attending. Uh, the fact that we don't have, um, uh, we have fellowship programs, but the, the fact that we have that connection one-to-one -one with the attending, they're always available. You get that expertise and that experience from people that have done thousands and thousands of procedures that I think it's unique. And, and you certainly feel very confident about uh, those procedures that you get to do in the critical care area or in the regular wards. So one of the other aspects I would say about this program is the strength of the research here. Um, this is something again as a community program. We are, community programs in general are not usually known for having robust research. We are really privileged in the sense that we have a dedicated person that's actually working with our internal medicine program to help promote research. Um, and actually in my residency I, I wanted to do research with, you know, an outside institution somewhere that I could, I had a particular interest in vascular medicine. Um, and so the program supported me all the way through. They actually gave me dedicated and protected research time um, for over a, for a month actually during my second year. Um, and that's a very unique thing to have a program that's that supportive of your, of your career goals and, and ambitions. You know, residency is a very difficult time. Uh, we will, and we will, and we are going to make things as easy as possible for you. We want you to learn medicine in many different ways with the patient interaction, pathophysiology, management and so forth. Uh, but we also want to make sure that you have a life outside the hospital uh, to be able to uh, enjoy time with your family and, and so forth. Wellness, I mean, we try to, to create within our network activities for the residents and fellows that promote wellness, you know, promote some bonding time, some face-to-face -face time outside the hospital, but also to be mindful of the fact that we have families and life goes on outside the hospital. And I think that's important. Many of our graduates uh, go on to do uh, fellowships, uh, and many of them host key academic positions in the nation, uh, and also in uh, internationally as well. Uh, we have many, many of our residents who stay in the community, uh, who become a subspecialist uh, or do internal medicine, be hospitalists or in primary care. I can say coming out of this program after three years and now starting my first week of attending um, that I'm feeling confident in what I'm doing, you know, I, and I have that support and those, those people now that I can reach out to in, in instances that I don't know things and things that I still have questions. Um, so it's both the aspects of support, excellent training, um, and all the hands-on experience that you could want. One thing that nobody tells you is how important it is to leave with people that you actually consider friends. Um, those that you can call for a life advice. Those that you can call for, I just want to check in and tell you I'm doing fine. I moved into this in my life. What do you think about this? 
It's a conversation that you want to have with, with the individuals that you met beyond medicine. And, and you will find this here. It, it is just something wonderful and it's one of the biggest blessings that we have received and I have received here.